tuning in, SFO, see Andy back with another video. If you like today's content, hit that like button, share, subscribe, on deck, pound for pound king, Canelo Alvarez, hit a brick wall last night, that brick wall being Dimitri Bavall, very tough fight for him last night, that was a unanimous decision, I got it, so you got to give out shots to um, Bavall no matter how you feel, a lot of Canelo fans out there, fanboys and all, you just got to accept it. He did lose. I don't think there's anything for Canelo to be ashamed of. He wasn't exposed to anything like that. Let's talk about the fight. Rival, you know, strong, big. I think I might have said in strap season, it would probably be a little bit of a close fight if he controlled distance. He did control the distance with his feet, kept that jab up real, real busy. You know, at times he let his hands go on Canelo. Canelo extra, extra defensive, which we're not used to. He was tucked up in that shell. Rival had, out, had everything, body, head, couple of hooks that he slipped in you know so Canelo that might be 175 might be a little bit much for him to to um to go up maybe he should come back down at 168 still undisputed at 168 a lot of work down there for him so he might be taking it to one of your to your favorite fighter the next you never know got Charlo out there Benavidez but as for the fight you know Canelo a lot of power punches last night and Baval was ready looked like he bruised the arm up and everything seemed like he was trying to dislocate Bavall's arm, but he beat up the arms and everything real quick, but Bavall, defensive block and everything, and you know, there was a point in the fight around the fourth or fifth when Canelo, to me, seemed like he started to slow down a little bit. Bavall, he wasn't just tucking, he was answering real quick with the counter, catching Canelo backing up. Now, I used to seeing that. He put Canelo back on the ropes a couple times, so nothing you really can say. You know, I gave Canelo, um... I gave Canelo three rounds, and that's being real, real generous. So, shouts out to Bavall. As for Canelo, still, bright future. First loss since 2013, so what's that, nine years? Lost to Floyd, lost to Bavall. But still got, like I said, a lot of people out there for him. And um, I don't see a lot of people at 168 being able to test Canelo. Undisputed for a reason. Took out Plant, took out David Benavidez, you know. He was, um, he went into a different gear with the power. But he wasn't able to get into a different gear with the boxing. I mean, boxing, boxing. He wasn't able to just work his jab, deliver the one-twos. Everything was looking to seek and destroy. That's Canelo way. That's the motto. Shouts out to Team Reynoso. But back to the drawing board, you know, at 175, it's going to take some, um, some skill, some finesse, and not just those big power punches. Those boys, they ready to block and keep on coming. So shouts out to Bavall. I got to say, um... Superb footwork with him. It's gonna be um it'd be good to see somebody maybe like a um Caleb Plant go up there and see what he can do. Or maybe if Bavar wanna just go after Arthur Better Biev, you know, that'd be a tough fight right there. Arthur I think is a lot well, I, I would say he's stronger than Bavar, but Bavar technically sound. Like I said, Canelo he couldn't get into that extra boxing gear last night. It was all about the power punches and we saw how he fared with that. So Bavall, you retain the WBA belt. And for the haters out there, you know, I got to say, Canelo got a lot of haters. But I love what Canelo said, no excuses, so I can't make excuses for him. And either you're a fan of the sport or certain people or a hater of certain people, I got to say, for the this was fulfilling for the haters, but still, the, I'm not going to give you much because Canelo's still just dominant all around and still undisputed in divisions, moving up from all those divisions, 60 68 75 now he's gonna be coming back down there is a rematch clause but i gotta say with the rematch clause if i was canelo i just i just um i just go ahead right now and come back down you don't need the rematch i don't really see what he can do in a rematch i think Bavar is probably gonna be sharper with the timing in a rematch i think he's gonna be ready he's gonna be a lot quicker to counter he knows canelo's gonna try to beat up the arms like i said it looked like he was trying to dislocate the man's arms um, you know, I'm going to leave it right there. Shouts out to Canelo. And it's big shout out to um, Dimitri Bavall. Bavall, a lot left. There were 31, so a couple more years of him. As for Canelo, I hope he stays away from Bavall. Go back down to 68, maybe put a whooping on Charlo. Maybe Benavidez. That's where all our competition is for him. So, salute. If you like today's content, hit that like button, share, subscribe. SFO. Peace.